Um, ready? Yeah, oh, we're we recording. Yeah. Hang on, let me tell my friend. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to CFC Fan TV. I'm joined by the wonderful Charlie the Hurricane Skillen from the Mail Online. How are you Charlie? Sorry if it's been far too long. Isn't it? Yeah, it has been far too long. Uh, the last time I was speaking to Charlie, he was freezing cold in Burnley, uh, texting me about how cold he was in Burnley. But in all, in, in, in your defence, my dad actually texted me saying he was cold as well. If my dad's cold somewhere, that means it must have been cold. So far, honestly, you don't think Bear Grylls could have survived the temperatures <laughs> at that stadium. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've got, I've got no... No hate for Burnley as a football club at all, but you know, and it doesn't look Cold. like it's going to happen. But if they could go down and I never have to go there again, that would be blinding. Yes. I mean, yes. it was freezing. Oh, to be honest, I was hoping we'd score just so I could have a cuddle with you, sort of <laughs> yeah. warm up a bit. But yeah. Unfortunately, I, that didn't happen. Uh, well, oh, I yeah. did. We got Pedro out of goal, yeah, but I yeah. think you were, you would have liked a few. Yeah, of course. Look, I, it was it was a difficult game. It, it's so clear ha having having been there and, and seen how they play. It's so clear to see why they've done so well why they've made that such a hard place to go. Yeah. And, you know, I was disappointed reading on Twitter afterwards, um, seeing, you know, a lot of a lot of negative stuff about the team. And look... I thought it was a decent point. It was... That's it. It was a decent point. A very tough place to go. You know, even if you think back to our best campaigns... We, I mean, we don't draw that many games, let alone lose any. No, no. So, so it's, um, it's, it's not a bad point at all to come away from there. And... I, we didn't play well. Let, let me say that. Like you know, there was a lot of lot of moaning in the crowd as well. And I thought I thought some of our passing was really sloppy. Mm. I, I was livid with Matic for for giving away that free kick in a position yeah. that he just didn't need to do that. And um, you know, I, I thought some of our attacking play could have been a lot kind of cleverer. But you know, you're going up to a team that have won. I think it is 29 from their 30 points at home. It's the conditions. I don't know if I said the conditions <laughs> were really, really bad. Yes, I think and I've referenced in my five things we learned this week. Go check it out if you haven't. It is. Uh, Go and watch it. Charlie to take a hot water bottle. Yeah, it's uh, not really the look though, is it? You can't. No, nah, seriously. No, okay. For for salt heater. You literally just click it, and and you're warm. I, I highly recommend. She knows what's um, doing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, uh, Charlie is now back, and I don't know if you lot have noticed, but we have a new studio. Look at uh, it. We've literally it's got every single. Um, Cup, European trophy. On, the yeah. only team with all four of them. You not know, you not know. Um, okay, but moving on uh, to other news. Let's talk yeah. about some stuff. Okay, it's Costa. Um, do you think he needs to be replaced or are we sticking with him for a little bit? Um, I, I, I saw that opinion a lot on Twitter. That's kind mm. of one of the main things I saw. Um, he didn't have a good game. Uh, he didn't lead the line particularly well. In fact, he hasn't played that well for, for a, you know, possibly three or four games. Um, I would not replace him in the team. Uh, I, I think the Costa is always going to be a player where it sort of ebbs and flows, and, and he was he was fantastic in the first half of the season. Yeah. Um, for me, he's the perfect striker for this team, and I I just I just think there's there's so much to be said for imbuing confidence in these players and dropping Costa after a couple of dodgy games is is not going to do that particularly. It's, it's not the way forward. Definitely. Particularly not. as as we know what went on, that little row between him and Conte. Um, I said at the start that I didn't think that ended with him leaving Chelsea. It was just a kind of spat which did happen. But, you know, I, I certainly think that, that he's the man to, to to lead the line. And I think all he needs is a couple of goals. And uh, his sort of current slight rut will be broken. I know a lot of people said, said we played well with Hazard yeah. more centrally and William and Pedro. Um, I still remain unconvinced how much faith Conte has in Batshuayi. I know that's a kind of a, another thing that people are saying, but I, so, certainly I'd start in in the next Premier League game anyway, which is obviously uh, uh, Swansea at home. Uh, certainly I'd start with Costa. Yeah, uh, I'm in total agreement there. Okay, so let's move on then. Uh, transfers. What's what's happening? Right. So obviously the January transfer window en ended with, with not much happening. Yeah. <laughs> a bit blunt, really. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it was it was more about bringing players like like Ake back. And you know, obviously now Zoom is now fit as well. Um, now we do know, obviously Ivanovic has left. Mm. Um, obviously we saw Mikel and Oscar leave as well. So the squad has got a little bit lighter. Now uh, Conte will certainly look to address that in the summer. I think he, he thought he can work with what he got until the end of the season. But with Ivanovic leaving and John Terry, you know, 
let's not face really it. Like, yeah. Well, no, I mean, look, John Terry, as it stands, is not going to be a Chelsea player next season. Mm-hmm. Um, whether he's at Chelsea or not, um, is still up in the air. He's not going to be as part of the playing staff. Yeah. Now, the, the club have been tracking Michael Keane, who obviously we saw play very well for, for Burnley on Sunday. They've been tracking him for a while, and I expect him to be one of the top targets that we go for. Uh, another thing, obviously, we, we've got to think about is the lack of English players at the club, not just through, you know, a, a sense of a sense of fans want to see English players, but you know, obviously the homegrown rules as well. Yeah. Now, and, and Michael Keane is one of the finest young English defenders around, and I think it, it's it's a, it's a story that's been around for a while, and it's it's a story that that will continue to be so in the summer. So Do you think it makes sense. Um, yeah, look, I mean, he, he's he's very talented, clearly, as, as we saw on Sunday. Mm. He, he, he was named man of the match, I think. But I, I think it's a saga that you, you, you'll definitely see see happen this summer. I, I'm pretty, in, in fact, I'm pretty sure that Burnley are already resigned to losing him one mm. way or another. Whether that's the Chelsea, I'm not so sure. Making preparation. <laughs> um, okay, then, uh, Courtois. Yeah, now... This was one of our kind of main stories over the over the January transfer window, um, not specifically in the mail, but more from more from the foreign papers. Um, Real Madrid will be looking for a new keeper next summer. They they're choosing between De Gea and Courtois. He's yeah, he's always sort of Courtois never really uh, what's the word been. I don't feel like his 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 oh, how can I put it? Yeah. He doesn't seem as if he really has his heart at Chelsea. Well, although he's kept his performances as consistent as I, sort of could be asked for. I think you could certainly say that last season. And I've you know I'm, I've got a lot of stick for criticising Courtois in the past. I must say he has been absolutely blinding this season. Apart from the very start, he's been absolutely incredible. Yeah. He, he, he saved us quite a few points. He, he he played very well against Burnley and against and, Arsenal actually, and against Arsenal. And you know he couldn't do anything about free kicks. That was an amazing free kick. <laughs> from uh, Brady but again we see these stories Real Madrid looking for a new keeper we know Courtois partner and his child both live in Madrid we know obviously when he played for Atletico that he that he considers that you know to yeah. be where his home is yeah. so I think if it if it came down to that I think that move could well happen now I don't want to scare anyone I, I, I do believe Courtois is happy at Chelsea at the minute but when a team like Real Madrid come in for you Bearing in, mind his fam- money. Off ba- you go. bearing in mind his family situation, I, that will certainly be a story this summer. Now, obviously, Real Madrid had, were very close to signing De Gea last time out. They could be going back in for him, in which case, obviously, that's great news for Chelsea. We Begovic almost left in the January transfer window. Yeah. It was just, it was just a, a case of Chelsea not being able to get a replacement like Craig Gordon. Begovic will certainly, certainly leave in the summer. So I think it, it's, it's one that fans have to be careful of. And one that we have to watch quite carefully because we could find ourselves having to buy two keepers, one of them absolutely world class, and there's not many of those about. Yeah, a comment below, guys. Let us know uh, who you would want to see, uh, who would you would want to sign uh, if Courtois is to leave. Okay, so now it is time for everyone's favourite part of this video is the fans Q and A. Are you ready, Charlie? Go on. Okay, so uh, first up is Kenny. Um, oh, he's asking. What a legend. <laughs> Friend of the show. Yeah, he's asking why you're such a geezer. I can't really say that, can I? Uh, but anyway, and um, why did you stand behind him yesterday and then disappear after about thirty seconds? From I, Kenny, because as uh, I mean, as Ken knows, I, I kind of, I kind of just move about during away games, and I was just, I was just saying hello, really, and then, uh, <laughs> then I disappeared up, up to my seat, which is the back of the I, I, I thought it'd be Kenny, warm right just disown him, please. Not. No, Kenny, absolute legend. Yeah. Go, go and follow nice guy Kenny on Twitter if you don't already. Yeah, he's pretty funny. Um, okay, then next question: uh, Do you think Cesc Fabregas will be at Chelsea next season? Ooh, I'm gonna. Upset, I hope he is. I'm gonna upset a few people here. Yeah? No, you're not gonna say no. I don't. That's not. I'm not saying he's not going to be. But if I had to say now, I don't think he will be. I think he's a player that needs game time. He's not getting that game time, and obviously people are a little bit upset with that. Yeah. Um, he's coming on a little bit, but. I think a player like him, at his state, at the stage of the, his career that he is, I oh, know I don't think he'll be a Chelsea next season. He'll want to be playing nearly every game, exactly. won't he? Um, okay, next question. Uh, Lewis edition and actually uh, Sol MVV says, will Will Kante be Player of the Year, or who do you think is most likely to be Player of the Year? Um, he certainly should, shouldn't he? <laughs> I mean, he was. I, I've never really seen a, a player come in. And, and change the way a midfield it's works. It's hard like, when they're you know, so effective without scoring goals. Yeah, exactly. I mean, look, he, he was obviously instrumental to Leicester last season. He's been wonderful for us. It's, it, particularly over the last couple of games, he's just been amazing. Um, so, yeah, I, 
He's a certainly been Chelsea player of the year, I think. Um, David Luiz is a contender. Yeah. Oh, Costa up until the last couple of games would probably be a contender. There's Pedro's so many. Good. Yeah. There's so many. And so, Pedro's banging in goals. So, certainly not for anyone else. Yeah. Certainly no one from anyone else. I mean, who, who do you choose? Okay, and then last one, which is from uh, Chelsea Ken or James Kenny. Hi, 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 James Kenny. Um, do you think we need to add a goal scoring midfielder in the summer? Yeah, I, yeah, I think we do. I mean, uh, certainly Fabregas leaves. Not, not that he, not that he chips in with loads and loads of goals, but I'm a big believer in having as many players in the squad or offer something unique, which Fabregas does. Uh, we lost Oscar, which a lot of people don't see as such a bad thing, but he would always need some sort of replacement, don't he, you? He, 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 he was all right for popping up with the goal, and I think the goals, especially when you've got players like Kante and Matic in the middle, who, who we know aren't going to contribute to that level in in the opposition box, I, I, I think you do need some some players that, that will pop up with the goal apart from the front three. So, yeah, I, uh, certainly I think it would be a good addition. Yeah, I think the Premier League changes, doesn't it, every single season, mm. and so you have to make new additions to your team. So, Even if you're playing superbly like we are. Like we are. Is superbly a word? Yes, very much so. Very good side. Great. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, so that's all we have time for this week. Uh, get your questions in. Is there anything else that we've missed? Uh, do you think Costa should start in our next Premier League, Premier League match against Swansea? Oh, we've got Wolves first, haven't we? We have. On Saturday, that's going to be a big game. Everyone's quite buzzing for that, actually, aren't they? Yeah, we took, we, the, we've taken a huge allocation and uh, yeah, it should be a good day. Yeah. I'm not going to be there. I'm not gonna no, do that. Uh, uh, Charlie and Rory are going on Rory Stag Do, so yes. I'll be there. And we're gonna, um, we're gonna do a preview. We're gonna do a preview from Spain, so yeah. look out for that. Drinking sangria, it's gonna be nice. Drink, yeah, drink, please. If they're too drunk, I'm just not gonna upload it. So <laughs> best behaviour, please. I'm, uh, I'm always. <laughs> always. Okay then, guys. Uh, see you soon.